Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you a really simple way that you can double the number of new patients coming into your practice without having to spend a penny on advertising. Now, I know that sounds like a bold claim, but this has worked for literally hundreds of different businesses across various industries. And in just a minute, I'm going to prove to you mathematically that this works. Now, let me tell you who this training is for. If you are a dermatologist who wants to get more patients, this training is for you. If you are a plastic surgeon who wants to get more patients, this training is for you. If you're an esthetician and you want to get more patients, this training is for you. In fact, if you're running any sort of service business who offers higher ticket services to your clients, you might have to tweak it a little bit for your specific business, but this process will work for you. Now, let me tell you who this training is not for. This training is not for people who are unwilling to adapt to a new marketing environment. You know, you hear people say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, this video is gonna be all about a whole bunch of new tricks. So if you're not willing to learn that, then this training is definitely not for you. Okay, now let me tell you just very quickly a little bit about who I am and why I'm doing this. My name is Chris Shoup. I'm the founder of Dominate Marketing and the author of this book, The Magic of Compound Business Growth, Online Strategies for Offline Market Domination. And I've been doing digital marketing for a long time. I started out by selling my own products online. I was completely in the online space. And one day, uh, I met a girl on Instagram, a girl who lived in Brazil, and started talking to her over Instagram, which, as you probably know, is a great marketing platform. And anyway, so she came to my city to meet a friend who lived in my city. And so I got to meet her in person. And long story short, we fell in love. She came here to live with me for a while. I lived with her back in Brazil for a little while, and we've been together ever since. Now we live back in the US, and she draws these cute little pictures on my whiteboard. So anyway, she happens to be a dermatologist. She was a dermatologist practicing at an esthetician clinic back in Brazil, and one day I took her to a dermatology conference. And while I was waiting around for her to get done with the conference, I figured I'd check out what the marketing situation looked like for dermatologists and estheticians. So I decided to take a look at this and I, I looked at what kind of marketing these companies were doing. I looked at dermatologists, estheticians, plastic surgeons, cosmetic dentists, etc. And what I found basically was that the marketing is like 10 years out of date. The marketing in this industry is pretty much in the stone ages compared to the level of marketing in the online business industry. So I recognize that there is this enormous opportunity for dermatologists, plastic surgeons, and estheticians to take advantage of modern marketing techniques that are already being used heavily in the online space to bring into their industry, they would get a huge advantage over all their competition. And so I decided that I would start working with those kind of businesses, and that's what I've been doing ever since. Okay, so now that you know a little bit about me, let's get into this really simple strategy to double your revenue, to double the amount of patients that are coming into your office without spending money on ads. Now, I told you I was gonna prove this to you mathematically, so let me show you what I meant by that. Let me draw a little diagram for you. Now, in uh, any business, in, in your business included, you have what's called a funnel, which is the process, the sales process that every customer goes through before becoming a customer. So you get uh, impressions. Let me just draw this out real quick. You get impressions to leads, to customers, to repeat. Now we call it a funnel because it looks like a funnel. This is the, the process that all these people go to in order to become your customer. Now, impressions, that is the people that, that find you in some way. So maybe they look at your website, maybe they look at your Instagram, maybe they look at your business card, maybe they look at your Facebook, whatever it is, they're looking at some material that you have and being aware of your presence. And then some of those people who are impressions, some of those people who look at your materials uh, are going to become leads. They're going to say, oh, okay, I'm interested in this. And they're going to give you a call or they're going to send you a message on Instagram or they're going to walk into your clinic, right? The people that, that, that were impressions and uh, show some interest and actually reach out to you, those people 
then become leads. And, and notice that this section is smaller than this one, right? That's because not everybody who looks at your website is going to give you a call or send you a message or whatever, right? It gets smaller as you go down the funnel. That's why we call it a funnel. So of the people that are your leads, of the people that sent you a message or gave you a call or walked into your clinic, some percentage of those are going to become your customers or actually gonna buy your service. And then of the people who uh, buy your service, some percentage of those are going to give you repeat business, right? They're gonna come back the next month or maybe they're gonna come back every month for 10 years, you know? So you wanna make sure you get as many repeat clients as possible. But now there are four different ways that you can influence this process so that you're getting more patients. First way is you can get more impressions. Right, you can run ads or something so that more people are seeing your website or more people are seeing your social media. The second way, you get a higher percentage of those impressions to turn into leads. This is called your opt-in rate. So the better optimized your website is, your Instagram is, your Facebook is, etc., for getting people interested in talking to you about your service, the higher your opt-in rate is gonna be and the more leads you're gonna get. And then the next way is converting those leads into customers. So the better your sales process is, the more of those leads actually become your customers, uh, the, more, the more you're gonna sell. And then of course, the more of those customers you can convert into repeat customers. The more you can get people to come back over and over again, the more you're going to sell. Okay, now let's run some numbers through this to show you exactly how this works. And don't worry, I'll use some really simple numbers for you math phobes out there, right? You'll be able to follow along. So let's say that in a given month, you get 1,000 impressions. You get 1,000 people looking at your website and your Facebook and your Instagram, all those combined, you get 1,000 people looking. And let's say that you get a 10% uh, opt-in rate. So 10% of those people that are looking at your stuff are becoming leads, are giving you a call or sending you a message, et cetera. So that means that you have 100 leads, right? And then of those leads, let's say that 20% become customers. So 20% of the people that are giving you a call, 20% of the people walking into your office are actually buying from you. So that means that you are getting 20 customers. And then let's say that of those 20 customers, you're getting 20% repeat rate. So uh, 20 customers came in this month, you get 20% 20 of those to come next month. So you're getting four repeat customers. Okay, now let's say that your average service cost $1,000. Again, just for the sake of using really easy numbers here. So if you're getting 20 clients at $1,000, you're making $20,000 plus an extra four clients from last month, right, that are repeat clients this month, that's an extra 4,000. So you're making, uh, in the month, you're making a total of $24,000 revenue total for the month. Now, this is where it starts getting interesting. Remember I said that we can focus on getting more impressions or we can focus on raising our opt-in rate or we can focus on raising our conversion rate or we can focus on raising our customer retention rate and any of those will raise this final number, the amount of revenue that we're getting. Now, now for our clients at Dominate Marketing, we focus on all four of these factors at the same time. And all four factors multiply by each other, right? So we get some pretty dramatic results. But for this training, I'm only gonna focus on this one, the opt-in rate. I'm only gonna show you how to increase the opt-in rate. And I'm gonna show you what that alone even without the other three factors, what that alone will do for your business. So uh, let's say you get the same number of impressions, right? If you, if you run advertising, you can get more impressions, but I said we're gonna do this without spending any money on advertising. So we're gonna leave the number of impressions the same, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, what if you can increase your opt-in rate, that is the number of impressions who become leads. If you can if you can double that, if you can increase it from 10% to 20%, and of course, later in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. But let's, let's run the numbers again, if we change that from 10% to 20%. Okay, so we have the same thousand impressions again. Now, instead of 10%, we got 20%. So now we have 200 leads, right? And then 20% of 200 leads is 40 customers. And then 20% of 40 customers is 
eight repeat customers. So just by changing, just by doubling our opt-in rate, which as I'm gonna show you is pretty easy to do, uh, we've increased the number of patients we got from 24 to 48. And again, keeping our, our number of the, the service cost the same, we are now at $48,000. We've just doubled our entire revenue for the month to $48,000. And by the way, uh, notice this repeat. I'm only counting those as though they only repeat once, but chances are they repeat a lot more than once, right? So really this, this number will go up exponentially over time. So these are very conservative estimates that I'm giving you here. Okay, now if you're following me so far, you're probably wondering how uh, I'm going to magically raise this opt-in rate from 10% to 20%. So that's what I'm gonna show you. And the strategy is pretty simple. It involves what we call a lead generation funnel. And I'll show you basically how the strategy works. Um, the way your sales process works now, probably, is that you have your website and a certain number of people visit your website. And uh, on the website, you have a call to action. CTA stands for call to action, where you say, hey, visit us at our location, or call us at this number, or fill out this form, or whatever it may be. And then uh, those people become your leads, right? They visit your website, and they take the call to action, they become leads. So that's your 10% opt-in rate that you've got right now. And probably you have the same process for your Facebook and the same prospect process for your Instagram, et cetera. And you have a call to action here and you have a call to action here. So what I'm gonna show you is just a little bit more complicated, but not very much and gets dramatically better results. So instead of doing your call to action directly on your website, or actually not even instead of, actually I, I would leave that call to action on the website. But in addition to that, what you're gonna do is on your website, you are going to offer something of value in return for the person's contact information. That could be the email address, it could be the email address and phone number, it could be just a phone number. Uh, there's various ways to go about it, but for this example, I'm gonna assume we just get the email address. So what we do is somewhere on your website, you put a box that says, uh, click here to get this free thing. Now that free thing could be a coupon. That works really well. If it's a coupon for a service that a lot of people are interested in, uh, they'll be willing to click on that to get the free discount. Or it can also be an information product, right? So if the person is interested in losing weight, for example, you can say, click here to get the plastic surgeon's free guide to five ways to lose 15 pounds in half an hour, you know, or is, is good a claim as you can make that you're actually gonna be able to deliver on the claim and then give them just free information on various fat loss procedures or whatever it is that they happen to be interested in. So once they click on the button, whether it's for the coupon or the information product, and that'll depend, that'll vary depending on your business, which, you know, if you work with us, we would help you figure out exactly what's the, the correct lead magnet, it's called, the free thing that you're giving away, the thing that you're using to get them to uh, become a lead, it's called a lead magnet. So anyway, so they click onto that, and then they go to a different page, and this one is called an opt-in page. On this page, you tell them about the lead magnet. You talk about your, your free guide, or you talk about the coupon and the terms of the coupon, etc. It's gonna be a very simple page, really, because you're giving something away for free. You don't really have to do a whole lot of explaining to be able to sell it. So that's the opt-in page. And then when people opt in, they are going to put their name and email address, and in return, uh, they're gonna get their free thing. So once they put in their name and email address, they're gonna go to a third page that's called a thank you page. And on that thank you page, you can put a call to action, right? You can say, uh, thank you for signing up for the free coupon. I mean, if you gave them a free coupon, you should absolutely tell them that this is what you do in order to redeem the coupon. You come to this address or you call this number to make an appointment, whatever your sales process happens to be. And then since you've gotten their name and email address, well, then you have a series of emails that you send to them. My whiteboard's getting a little busy here, but hopefully you can 
keep track of this. So you take that email address that you got and you send them an email. Now the first email should reiterate whatever it was that you gave them for free. So if you gave them a free guide to something, you could have that attached to the email. Or if you gave them a coupon, you could have that in the email. And then of course, the email should also include a uh, call to action. So we're gonna put our lead magnet in there and we're gonna put our CTA. And then after the first email, we can send another email and put our call to action. Then we can send another email and put our call to action. Notice that now you have the email address of somebody who is already interested in your service. What you get basically from that is you get free advertising forever, basically, or until the person unsubscribes to people who are already interested in your service. And by the way, I'm gonna show you uh, how you can get this done automatically. So you don't have to like sit there and write an email every time. So that's basically the whole process. Now, you can also point all your other traffic sources at that opt-in page. So point your Facebook to that opt-in page. Put the, the link in your bio, in your Instagram, point to the opt-in page. Instead of pointing to the website, point to the opt-in page because that's the opt-in page is laser focused at getting people to become leads, right? Whereas a website, like a traditional website, has a million different things to click off on uh, and is, is just not focused, right? Whereas the opt-in page is focused. So I would recommend that you point all of your social media pages to the opt-in page instead of to your main website. And then if you, have a, if you have a business card, right, you can point that to your, you can point that to your opt-in page. Like any place that you interact with possible customers, point them to that opt-in page because that opt-in page is going to get a really good opt-in rate because that's the sole reason for its existence. So a lot of those people that go to that opt-in page are going to become your leads and then you can advertise to them forever through email. Now, there's a common concept in marketing for all industries that says that the average consumer, in order to be willing to buy something, has to be exposed to it seven times on average. So what that means is that somebody who looks at your website and sees your offer for the first time is most of the time not going to want to buy it, even if they're interested in the offer because they just haven't seen it enough times. They need more repetition. So notice how much better this process is because look, you got a call to action on your website. Then you got a call to action on your thank you page. Then you got a call to action in the email. The lead magnet itself should have a call to action. The next email has a call to action. The next email has a call to action. You can send as many emails as you want, every single one with a call to action. So imagine how much more likely somebody going through this whole process is to opt into your offer than somebody who just looks at your website or looks at your Facebook page. I hope you're starting to realize just how powerful this is. And notice, you know, I only doubled the, the opt-in rate, right? I'm being conservative here by doubling it. Whereas where before we had one call to action, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six calls to action. And that's only because I didn't have room to write more emails, right? So it could conceivably, you could, you could multiply it by a factor of six, right? Not just a factor of two. So I'm playing with easy numbers here because I think that you can attain this really easily. And notice also that I'm not asking you to uh, modify your existing stuff very much at all, right? I'm not asking you to build a new website. I'm just saying to have an opt-in page added to it and then add a button to your regular website that leads to the opt-in page. And that's pretty easy to do, actually. You might think that you have to be super tech savvy to do this, but you really don't. I use a software called ClickFunnels, which uh, I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna try that out, but it's, it's pretty simple uh, to actually set up the page. Now, the, what you do need to do is to understand basic marketing concepts, right? That's the art of building these opt-in funnels, but if you don't have a lot of tech skill, that really doesn't matter very much. And also, if you were looking at this part with all these emails, 
and groaning, thinking, oh geez, I have to write all those emails every time I get a new lead. Don't worry, I've got a solution for that too. There's all sorts of uh, automated email softwares that will do this for you. I use one called Aweber that I like a lot. Again, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. But what that is, is it's a software where I write an email once and then every time somebody opts in to my offer, uh, it automatically sends an email. And then it waits for a specified amount of time. Maybe it's a day, maybe it's a few days, maybe it's a week. Then it sends a second email. And then it waits a specified amount of time and then it sends a third email, etc. I mean, I could put an email list of, of 200 emails if I wanted to, and I ha only have to write those emails one time, and it will send them automatically to every single person who signs up in this opt-in page. And again, the writing the emails is pretty easy. It's a little bit of a art to write emails that are actually going to entice people to do what you want them to do but you definitely don't have to sit there writing emails for hours at a time because you have to write a separate email to everybody who opts into your list. Or you don't have to write them into a Word file and copy and paste them every time, right? This, this process, this email automation software makes it super easy. Okay, so now we've gone over how the whole funnel works. We've gone over the four different ways that you can make more money in your business. You can get more impressions. You can turn more of those impressions into leads. You can turn more of those leads into customers. You can turn more of those customers into repeat customers. And actually there's a fifth way, which we also work with our clients on, and that is to work with this, right? If your average customer is spending $1,000, how can we get your average customer to spend more than $1,000, right? Because that will compound with everything that's already here. We went over the basic page funnel for your opt-in structure here, how you have a website and you direct people to an opt-in page and from there you direct them to a thank you page and then you send them emails from there and then of course you can, you can link all your other accounts to that opt-in page. You can link your Facebook, your Instagram, your business card, etc. To, to your opt-in page. And again, you don't have to replace your website. You don't have to be super tech savvy to do this and you don't need to sit there writing emails all day either. Okay, now if you had the choice between taking everything that you learned here today and putting it into practice in your business yourself, or if you could have somebody guide you through the steps one by one and do it with you, which one do you think would be easier? Now if you thought the second option, to have somebody walk you through this to actually do this with you, then I've got some good news for you. I've set aside some time to talk with you about what your current situation is, where you want your business to go, and to see if we can help you get there. And if I think that we can help, we'll show you what it would look like to work with us, and you can make the decision about whether or not to work with us at that time. If you'd like to book a call, just click the link below or go to dominatethemarketplace.net slash apply. We'll ask you just a few questions and we'll get on the phone with you to see how we can help you. And if you decide to work with us, here are some of the results that other practices are getting from implementing this process. Dr. Carisha Madden in Houston, Texas got $71,000 in new bookings in just one month. Dr. Amber Weba in Destin, Florida got $52,000 in bookings in just three days, right? In Destin, Florida, which is a pretty small town. Dr. Greg Thompson in Dothan, Alabama hit his monthly revenue goal in just the first week of implementing these strategies. So once again, book a call with us at dominatethemarketplace.net slash apply or click the link below. We'll ask you just a few questions to see how we can help and I'll look forward to talking to you soon.